Uniting people in a time of trouble. That is the focus of one artist who found her footing in the art world here in Chicago after years studying law in France. Now she's hoping her pieces remind others how important it is to be good to one another. My name is Natalie Grubinski. I live in Chicago and I'm coming from Paris. Uh, I've been here for 30 years. She arrived in Chicago fresh from law studies in France, quick to find the windy city wrap her in its own special charms. I like the city, I like the architecture, I like the fact that there was a lot of museum and art, and I like the diversity of people and the culture. I think it makes me create more. A family friend helped navigate her new world and new education. She would go on to get a Bachelor of Art at Columbia College and begin her career as a designer. As I was evolving in my design, I realized that I was captivated by shapes and lines. So on, you know, on brochures, and, and then I applied that to my art. It started by little doodles, and then I added colors. Some people told me you should do it in big. And then after that, uh, I evolved with different mediums. Mediums like watercolor, marker, acrylic. She dove into the digital world, fine-tuning two very distinct signature styles. One is more architectural and with uh, geometric shapes, and the other one, which is more prominent, is uh, more organic with rounded shape and uh, more playful. And I think those two different categories uh, express my personality, uh, the boy and the girl. We all have a woman and a man in ourselves, and I think for me it's a way to translate who I am. Red is a must in virtually all of her work. It's very rare when I have no red in a painting. In 2017, painting became her primary focus. Her work, in her words, energetic, bright, with a warmth, and largely inspired by one of the most important things in her life. I get my inspiration from relationship. I love the human being, and friendship is extremely important to me. Losing that during COVID was tough on Natalie. She took to the canvas to unload those monsters, she says. She paints anything from small squares to large pieces, one day hoping to expand even bigger and onto murals around the globe. She hopes her pieces remind people around the world to stick together. My art really has always been very light. I heard a lot of people saying artists have to suffer, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, I'm not that kind. I need to be okay when I paint, and most of the time I'm very joyous, and my work looks like it's happy work. And this is really what I want to bring to the viewer, that we are all together there. Natalie is currently showing uh, at the Fulton Market Kitchen Restaurant as well as Alma in Bridgeport. A third opens in February at the Povost Gallery on North Milwaukee. You can get in contact with her and look more of her artwork by going to her website or calling the number you see right there on her screen. Beautiful work. Isn't there. it gorgeous? It is absolutely yeah, gorgeous. Yeah, she's fantastic. Mm-hmm.